Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is February 12th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see the state of Hawaii center. California is right here. This is our next storm system rolling in Wednesday morning. We'll take a look at that in some detail here in a moment. If you look back across the Western Pacific, there's our much talked about jet extensions going to be moving north of the Hawaiian Islands and pointing back at the state of California. Looking back across the Western Pacific, you can clearly see the jet extension there. And if you look all the way to the right, you can see the Hawaiian Islands over there, and you can see China and Japan here. Taking a look at the North American model in the short term, we've still got some gusty offshore winds going on across Southern California, Mojave Desert, Western Arizona. But what I want you to pay attention to is the southerlies and the southwesterlies returning to Northern California as we go on in through late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, eventually swoop down across the Bay Area as we go through the day Wednesday and bringing some snowfall across the higher terrain also. And when I talk about mountain ranges, you can see the Klamath Mountains are here, Cascade, Sierra Nevada lies here, coastal mountains up and down the coast, of course. And we've got the transverse ranges here. These run from west to east, kind of a uniquely aligned mountain range here that goes from west to east. And we've got the peninsular ranges here as well that go from Southern California down into Baja, Mexico. You can see where the Mojave Desert is here as well. So taking a look at the European, let's check out the timing of this next system rolling in here Wednesday morning. See the precipitation shield approaching Tuesday night, starting to move in here as we get to Wednesday morning, Klamath Mountains, Cascades, Sierra Nevada, Bay Area gets some rainfall on the day in the evening Wednesday. And the Europeans been trending upward here with some of the snowfall amounts across the Sierra Nevada, the coastal ranges here getting the action, central coast areas here as well. And hopefully this can get some of this down towards the southern Sierra Nevada here as we go through Thursday and Thursday afternoon. That should be wrapping up for much of the state. And our eyes are going to turn to the, the extended forecast. But Hanford National Weather Service is doing a pretty good job kind of uh, communicating the uncertainty here with some of this precipitation. You see Bakersfield rolling at 13%, both Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, and better chances the further north you go. Take a look at the rain and wind on Wednesday with that system. Look at Crescent City, maybe up towards an inch and a half. Kalamath, get down towards Shelter Cove and Fort Bragg, maybe up towards an inch. And you can see some winds gusty, maybe 30, 40 miles per hour. Not as strong as the last system here, but still you'll notice a difference. A pattern change is incoming. Taking a look at the dense fog advisory currently, this is wrapping up here over what the next half an hour or so as I'm doing this briefing, but slow down when you run into the fog and don't stop. Use your low beams. And there's some frost advisories still out there as well. Some chilly temperatures to be had. You can see this is for Southern California, mainly the higher terrain. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below. What better than to check the temperature at your house, wherever you are, use your smartphone to do it. Three second update, zoomable graphs, very highly recommended weather station, check it out. Now, if we look here, we saw this on the satellite imagery. You can see the jet extension coming across the Western Pacific. It's gonna move north of the Hawaiian Islands and that's what's gonna bring our next round of storms here across much of the West Coast of North America, potentially targeting California the most. Uh, so as we scroll off into Thursday afternoon, afternoon. You can clearly see it. Not much change in the models. Really good model agreement for the last several days. If you've been watching the channel, you know that. And something interesting here too, you can see the subtropical jet stream is here. And this is kind of where the polar jet and the subtropical jet merge. And that's kind of what happens sometimes in these El Nino years. It phases together here and that can bring those potent storms into Southern California. And you can also see the polar jet kind of go all the way back to the Northwest and back up across Alaska and Canada as well. So it's always fun to watch these jet streams on the weather models. Taking a look at the day five excessive rainfall outlook. They are paying attention here, so we're going to expect to be looking at this here over the next few days as we get closer to these individual events. Taking a look at the European yesterday afternoon. So there is our system. The next one here we were talking about in the infrared satellite imagery that's north of the Hawaiian Islands. You'll see that start to move in here again as we go into Wednesday morning for Northern California, eventually moving down across the Bay Area here and eventually through the Sierra Nevada. And this is yesterday afternoon. As I showed you earlier last night's run, and it is upticking with some of the precipitation, the snowfall amounts across Across some of the central coast and the Sierra Nevada. So thumbs up for that. We will definitely take the uptrend for the snowfall there. And then the stronger systems start to arrive here as we go through Friday night into Saturday morning. You can see kind of an atmospheric river look to this storm system here. Let's hope it remains progressive, maybe hanging up for some areas here. Although that one isn't extremely dynamic, it's still some pretty good rainfall amounts. And then this next storm system hot on its heels has pretty good model agreement between the GFS and the European as well. And this one could bring some uh, very heavy rainfall, some of the coastal areas areas of Southern California as we go through Monday on into Tuesday. Again, plenty of time to nail this down. It's still you know, five, six, seven, eight days out into the extended forecast here. And we'll see how long that low hangs out. We'll be watching that daily as well. And after that, who knows what's coming. <clears throat> 
Look at the Canadian model here on the left versus the GFS on the right. This is a 12Z run, hot off the presses, most late, latest data for both of these models. And you can see the Canadian actually brings this storm system in a little bit faster, and it's frankly much more aggressive with these storm systems versus the GFS. But we'll take a look at that here. As you can see, it brings some heavy rain all the way down towards the Bay Area. The GFS much lighter with its solution there. You can see that rain continue to propagate down the central coast, GFS keeping it further north and weaker. And then we look at the stronger frontal system here as we go on in through, what is this, Saturday, Saturday afternoon. And again, the Canadian model much more aggressive with the system driving it all the way down across the central coastline and even towards Southern California as we go on into Sunday. And then the GFS has the same thing as the European with that strong low pressure system off the coastline, really driving uh, some impressive rainfall amounts back up into Southern California. So that's going to be the danger time, probably anywhere from Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday for Southern California. How long will that low pressure center hang out? How much precipitation will it drop? Is a Canadian going to be the outlier and end up being right? All good questions and things we will be watching and breaking down over the next few days. Taking a look at total precipitation in inches on the National Blend of Models. So you'll notice the precipitation arrive as we go on in through what is this Tuesday very late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and bringing some impressive precipitation amounts across from Northern California and even the Bay Area you know you could get up over a half an inch for some areas and look at up the coastline as well some impressive amounts and then that stronger frontal system arrives with better southerly progression here across from Southern California and look at some of these rainfall amounts just start to get ridiculous here across Central and Northern California the coastal ranges in Southern California by the time you get into Monday and Tuesday really starts to ramp up some of these precipitation amounts into the trans first ranges again so yeah definitely something to be worth watching here i don't think we've had proper time to dry out from the last huge rainfall amounts record-setting rainfall amounts across southern california so definitely interesting weather coming up here as you can see this is looking at total snow in inches Let's check out that first system here as we, this is rolling on and through what the day Wednesday, you can see it piling up a little bit across Northern California, then making its way down across the Sierra Nevada. Definitely will take that. And then the next storm system as it rolls in the weekend, and then hopefully continues on and through the following week here. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad here for the Sierra Nevada over the next week to 10 days for sure. But of course, we're going to be nailing down those details and we'll talk about snow levels as we get closer to that six to 10 day. Not much has changed there. Let me update that and make sure we got the most recent. We do. Here's 8 to 14 day. Nothing has changed there as well. These experimental products, you might see this on social media at times. Nothing has changed as far as this is concerned right now. And risk of high winds out there also kind of includes the state of California. Looking at percent of average precipitation so far for the month of February, as you can see, California doing really well, except for extreme northern portions here. Uh, but yeah, not bad. And we're going to be adding to that here over the next week to 10 days. Here since the water year started, so we still have some deficits running out there across the Sierra Nevada, especially in some of Northeastern California. But yeah, interesting stuff coming up here. Got to break that down day by day, but here's system number one and the jet extension comes and still some big model discrepancy on just how strong that next frontal system is going to be after this one as we go through the weekend and early next week. How long will that low pressure hang out there that GFS and the European is showing? All good questions, things we will be trying to answer here over the next few days. We'll start getting more into details on precipitation amounts for any given location once we get closer. We're not going to do that just yet. You saw that we went into it a little bit with this initial system here, but with the next round of storm systems rolling in here, those are still a week out or so, six, seven, eight days out, as I mentioned. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.